guys, it's a proud cat lover. So I have some news pertaining to my milk snake. If you wonder why his tank is all torn apart, it's because he escaped. Because he's a pain in my butt, to say it politely. So what I did was, because I knew that he could have fit through here, because I fit my finger, is I took a plastic bag and I had stuffed it in this entire crevice. But what I didn't think about was stuffing it in this one down here. Because, you know, the lock was here, so I couldn't. So I didn't think of stuffing down here. Well, I'm pretty sure that's how he got out. And I'm pretty sure he got out on Friday, and today is Monday. I put out live pinkies on Saturday night. And this morning woke up. They hadn't been eaten. So went to the pet store, and they didn't have any frozen thawed pinkies. They only had live pinkies. And oh my goodness, they're so adorable. I was holding them and they were making little whining noises. So I really hope that this works because if not, I'm going to have to find out how to take care of baby mice because I, I mean, obviously I'm probably going to have to buy like a milk formula probably for them because they can't eat solids obviously. But so, um, yeah, so I'm going to have to, you know, keep them warm and everything. So I'm thinking about putting them in here temporarily and putting them on top of the snake's warm hide and turning it to where it's, you know, maybe kept at around 80 degrees at the most so that that will keep them warm because my room is warm, but it's not warm enough for their body temperature because they're, they're pretty warm when I was holding them. So I'm sure they probably want to be kept warmer than 70 degrees, but I really hope that this works because I bought these two bottles here and I'm going to cut them and in invert this part to where it's like a funnel. So this hole will be inside the bottle and this rim here I'll tape on the sides so what the snake is supposed to do is crawls through the funnel and comes into this main chamber here to get the mouse. And then it can't figure out how to get back out because it tries to go out on the sides, or at least this is what I was reading, and it can't get back out the opening. So I really hope that I catch the snake because obviously I really don't want my cats to kill it. So I'm really hoping this works. Only thing is if, if I, you know... Uh, catch him, I'm still going to have one pinky left. So I'm hoping that he'll either eat the pinky or, you know, I'm hoping he'll eat the pinky because I really don't want to keep it. I mean, I like rodents and all, but I literally have nowhere to keep it as an adult. So, I mean, obviously I don't mind putting the work in of raising it if I have to. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make this trap and then when I'm done, I will show you the updated version. I'm not going to put the babies in it till this evening because snakes are only going to be active at night, especially this one. So, let's skip ahead to when the trap is finished. Okay guys, so I thought I'd show you real quick the process. So you cut this part of the bottle off. And I actually might have to trim it a little bit more because that's not really a lot of room in there. I'm probably going to trim it down to where it only... Actually... Snakes do like small compartments, so I probably will just leave it like this, but I will trim this part so it doesn't stick out as much. But, um... He is pretty small still, so I think he'll fit fine. But I think with the next one, I'm going to cut it at this ring so there's a little bit more length. But here's just the concept, is it'll go in like this, and this part will be taped around this part, because it's going to be cut to the same length as this. It'll be taped so it stays, and I'm going to take a couple pieces of foam and put it on the side so it doesn't roll around. And then the snake is supposed to crawl in, and then he supposed to stay in there. So we'll see if it actually works or not. People have had success with it, I just don't know. I might have to somehow make the hole smaller so or put like plastic wrap so he can crawl in but then the plastic wraps there so then he doesn't want to crawl back out. I don't know. We'll try and test some traps. I mean at least if he takes the pinky and at least I'll know he's in my room if it's in here because I'm setting two traps in my room. My room's the warmest one in the house so I'm hoping he has stayed in here and not gone under the door at night. So anyway let's go ahead and get this put together. Okay guys, so here is the first one that I made. So as you can see, it's taped on here and I taped the rim of both the bottle and the part that I cut off before. I taped it in there so that both are covered so they won't cut the snake. I got it into the middle as best as I could. I'm going to leave this on here so the snake feels like he has some privacy. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and make the other one, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because you've already seen what it's going to look like. I will make an update if I catch um, Ashir. 
I still cannot believe that he escaped. I'm going to have to keep him in a different temporary container until I can make sure that he's fat enough that he cannot slide through the doors. Because I didn't even think, you know, that he would try to escape because he was always so skittish that he would hide all the under the bedding all the time. So I had never even seen him es explore his tank. So the fact that he escaped is a little concerning. And I know he did because I tore his tank apart looking for him. <laughs> and so... Anyway, guys, I hope that this was helpful. If any of you guys have rodents, or not rodents, sorry, uh, reptiles that have escaped. You can also use frozen thawed pinkies. I obviously was going to, but um, just because the pet store I went to only had live, I went ahead and just did live because, one, they do have a little bit of a stronger scent. They're going to stay warm throughout the evening, and I am going to put bedding in here so that the babies can cuddle up with the with the bedding so that they won't get cold because obviously when it's going to be on the floor I can't really control temperature can't really have a heat mat under it or anything so I am going to put some bedding in there before I put the babies in and I'm just going to kind of let them crawl through the hole I'm not going to push them through or anything because that's just mean but anyway guys thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day